Okay, can you hear me now? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hopefully you can... Okay, what about now? Can you guys hear me? <laughs> I'm going to have to turn the fan on. I'm fixing to have a hot flash. Okay, so you can hear me now? Oh, two days in a row. Oh, my goodness. You guys are going to get sick of me. No, my holder's not pressing on anything. Um, yeah, the, it's not the holder. It's, it's either the internet or the software that I'm using to stream on both platforms. You know, I just paid for their service like in December. And of course, now that I've paid the big fee, uh, it's going to stop working. I don't know. Maybe it's the internet. But this is two days in a row now. Um so sorry um it looks like you guys can all hear me so oh, again that's like the third time that i've started out with no sound people don't watch the videos when once they get to a certain point um i think i should probably start over No, it's working now because the camera's not on my face. <laughs> For some reason, uh, the computer camera um, wasn't picking up my voice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, let's get started. <laughs> What, how many minutes is this? So 15 minutes in. I'll just make sure in the description that I put. Just fast forward to the 15 minute mark. Because I was talking. My lips were moving. But nobody could hear me. Um, I'm done with this. So that's all good. Um, so the purpose of today's video is just to walk through the cal cal catalogs. The new catalogs. Um, and check them out. So I did get up at 5 a.m. this morning and got my order placed for bingo. I got my order placed for my designer series paper shares, and I'm happy to say that there was not any back order situation. So everyone's going to get the paper that they ordered, and all the bingo swag bag stuff was ordered. So yeah, feeling pretty good. Although I am a little tired now after getting up at um, at 5 a.m. Okay, I'm turning on some additional lights. Uh, I'm attempting to turn on some additional lights. Hold on. There we go. Okay. So let's start with the celebration brochure. How about that? Is that okay? 
Hopefully y'all are not in a hurry. Oh, I see, I tried so hard to show my face today. Well, you got to see it a plenty, but um, but with no voice. Okay, so if you're walking through here with me um, on page three, well, no, let's actually start right here at the beginning, which it says, choose a free celebration product with every $50 or $100 that you spend before tax and shipping. So if there's anyone new watching, you get to choose a free item for every 50 or every 100, and there's no limit. So like, if you're like me, you could order 23 packs of the Sun, Sunshine and Rainbows um, designer series paper. <laughs> so on page three, we have Island Vibes, and um, that is free with a $50 order. On page four and five, we have Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series Paper, and that is also free with a $50 order. And that coordinates with um, the Daffodil Daydream Bundle that's on page 37 of our mini catalog. Okay, and here's some samples. On page six, we have Catching Butterflies, so cute, right? And this one is free with a $50 order. You can use your watercolor pencils, your Stampin' Blends to color these images, and then the Driving By, I love this too. This one's also free with a $50 order. I love the Volkswagen. Then on page eight and nine, we have the Sunshine and Rainbows six by six paper pack. Love, love, love this pack. It coordinates with the Rainbow of Happiness bundle on page 18 of our mini catalog, and it has so many fabulous colors. In fact, I brought my um, designer series paper charts. <laughs> I brought them with me, but where did I stash them? In the moment of having uh, technical difficulty. I've started stashing stuff under my desk. So here is the Sunshine and Rainbows paper pack. Just fabulous colors. Um, I did not show you the Daffodil Afternoon. There's that one. Okay. So more samples using the paper and the, what's it called? Rainbow Rainbow of Happiness Bundle. On page 10, we have the Simply Marvelous paper. And on page 11, we have the Awesome Otters. You guys have already seen me make a couple projects with the, with the otters. Um, I have not used that paper yet, but I will show you the, the chart. So there's that. So both of these are free with a $50 order. Now on page 12, this is kind of like the suite that we had last year. This is one of the items that's free with a $100 order and you get the stamp set and you get the paper. And the paper is so beautiful. And I actually do really like the stamp set too. Um, here's the paper. Isn't it beautiful? I love the colors so much. Um, yeah, so on page 12 and 13, so if you place a $100 order, you can choose this bundle of product. Someone asked the other day, could they just get the paper? Sadly, you cannot. It is a um, combined thing. On page 14 is another item that's free with a $100 order, and it is this special moment stamp set, and it has a bunch of really awesome greetings. Um, with sympathy, we need a lot of those this year. Thanks for brightening up my day. Just wanted to say you're amazing. I think you're wonderful. To For someone who is wonderful each and every way, hello sunshine, hang in there. I'm blinking to try to read. The font's a little small. <laughs> Just a little high from me. I have something for you, thinking of you. Yeah, there's lots of really, this is a really good greeting set. 
So there's that. And then there's some more samples on page 15. And then on page 16, I want to explain the host because not everyone understands that you don't really have to host a party to get the free product. So once your order reaches 150, you can be your own host. So as long as you don't enter a host code in, you get free product for every $150 you order. So during celebration, if you place an order of $300 or more, you also get this beautiful stamp set. Calming, hmm. not sure how to pronounce it. I wanna say Camille, I don't know. I'll butcher it, I won't say it. Here, you can read it. Anyway, um, and that's free if your order is 300. So if you were to place a $300 order, you get this stamp set and you could choose either three level twos. Someone asked me about the level twos. So a level two is what we call the free with a $100 order. So you have this one, you have this one, do we just have one? I mean two, or do we have three? I know now I'm like confusing y'all. So we just have two, right? <laughs> yes, we just have two. These two, okay? If I've confused you in any way, you just let me know, okay? So that is it for the celebration catalog. It does end at the end of February. And if you join my team this month, you become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, it's $99, you get $125 in product of your choice and two free stamp sets. So if you're placing a $100 order, you might just wanna order the starter kit, right? Okay, now we're gonna move to the mini catalog. There's lots and lots of stuff in here. There's lots of things I ordered and lots of things I did not order, so some of them I didn't order just for monetary reasons and then I'm waiting to get them for half price and some I did not order just because it didn't float my boat. Um, anywho, so on page three and four, table of contents. Um, let's just skip these pages. Don't forget, paper pumpkin, they're getting more and more awesome every day. Okay, so on page eight and nine, we have the Sweet Talk Suite. And when I placed my order this morning, everything was available. So you've already seen me use, I think every single item on this page I've already used in a video. I have, yeah. Um, this gingham embossing folder, don't miss out on that. Um, I have used it, I just don't know if it's for my exclusive tutorials or if I've shown all of y'all, but I have used everything on this page. Remember last night we made this little box. And then on page 10, that's just a recap of the stamp set, Sweet Conversations, and the Sweethearts Dies. If you are doing the bingo event, you could make the projects without this bundle. Um, I mainly use the stamp set for the greetings. I did use I did use the hearts and the but you could fussy cut them with your scissors if you wanted to the hearts and the paper like this you could fussy cut them out of the DSP okay someone asked me that so I just wanted to say you could but it would require fussy cutting then on page 11 um, this is the love and happiness bundle and I did not get this bundle because number one, it mainly is, I like it, it's beautiful. Um, I didn't get it simply because it's one of those that I, I felt like I wouldn't be able to use it enough to justify buying it. Um, it has a lot to deal with wedding, engagement, anniversary, and that kind of thing. And I already have those types of greetings. So I did not get that one, even though I really do like it. We have such a short period to sell like Valentine and love stuff. Um, yeah, I guess you could, I could, you could do wedding stuff year round. But for me, I kind of looked at this more as a Valentine set. When I did my um, 
mini catalog haul video. I did not have this bundle in yet, but I was able to place another order and I got the bundle for half price. So now I actually do have this bundle. Haven't touched it yet, but it's gonna be a fun one to do. So this is the Gumball Greetings Bundle. And I thought that for the price, it was pretty reasonable. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but it seems like our bundle prices went down a little bit. Like the holiday catalog, they seemed a little bit higher. And this catalog, they seemed a little bit lower. So for the stamp set and the dies, it's 41. Some really cute images in there. Look, look this one gets the love. Uh, nuts and bolts, you have already seen me use it a ton. Um, but it doesn't hurt to see them again, right? They're just so cute. I kind of view them as like animals. Um, okay, nuts and bolts. On page 14, uh, the Flowering Fields Suite. I got the paper, I got the ribbon, I love the butterflies. I cannot remember, did I get the tulips? I think I might have broke down and got the tulips, but I did not get this thingy. <laughs> What's it called? Let me flip over to the next page. The Tulip Fields Bundle. It is beautiful. It is spectacular. And I've been stamping for a long time. And I look at this and I still think, oh, I, I can't do it. It's, it's, it. It makes my brain hurt. So I'm sorry, I have had two people email me and say, can you tell me how that was done? I'm sorry, I cannot. Um, they did show us at um, on stage. And even as I was watching it, I was like, oh my gosh, me and my fumble fingers could never be successful. Um, so back to the flowering tulips. Uh, this is pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. Let today be the start of something new. You are so thoughtful. Thank you. Just thinking of you today. No one deserves a happier birthday than you. Love you so much and happy Mother's Day. So I feel like, like when I was looking at this set, I was like, oh, more flowers. But then I was like, these have some really good greetings. And I love this. You are so thoughtful. Thank you in a circle. I love circles. Y'all know that already. Okay, moving on to page 18. Um, the Rainbow of Happiness bundle. I did get it. I've not, it has not seen ink yet, but it will. I get a little confused about how to use stamp sets like this. Um, but someone said the other day, start out by making like one of the samples in the catalog. And then as you're making it, you will start to make changes. So I thought that was a pretty good idea. I love this one, the Friends of the Forest. Look, I wrote a heart on it. I drew a heart, didn't write a heart, I drew a heart. Um, so this coordinates with the Dear Builder Punch that was in the holiday catalog. And then this cloud punch, I actually am using that for a greeting uh, on my bingo event. Yeah, it's really good for greetings. Yeah. Okay. So love friends of the forest. The next one, I'm actually going to have a card class for you guys on this. Um, this is the Hello Ladybug. And it's so, so cute. What a happy little face, right? So it's the stamp set and the Ladybug Builder Punch. I should look up for comments. Make sure y'all are still there. Um, wait. Did the sound go off again? Oh, goodness gracious. Seriously, the sound went off again? Oh, okay. Is it on? It's back on. Okay. Hmm. Um, page 21. Wildflower Path. I didn't get it, but it's pretty. 
Okay, you, you can hear me. There's no sound again? Oh. Okay, thank you. Whew, it scared me. Hi, Kathy. Um, on page 22, we have the Symbols of Fortune stamp set. I know, I just out of the clear blue sky said, Hi, Kathy. She's one of my downlines. So when I see downline, I... Uh, I say hi usually. Oh, no can no one can hear me. Oh, okay. I'm going to stop looking at comments now and proceed. I'm confusing myself. <laughs> Crane of Fortune bundle and the soft succulent ribbon. I know I think this ribbon was not available this morning. I think they said that that was um not available at this time. Um yeah. So, but I I didn't order I didn't order that stamp set. So, Crane of Fortune bundle includes the Good Fortune dies and the Crane of Fortune stamp set. And then on page 25, Paradise Palms bundle includes the Palm dies and the Paradise Palms stamp set. I really like the greetings on this one, but I did not get it. I think I would if I lived near a beach, but I'm stuck in the middle of Kansas. I did get this one. I love it. Uh, Bows and Blossoms bundle. It includes the Bows and Blossoms stamp set and the bow punch. This is going to be a keeper. On 27, I have not yet decided what I'm going to do. Um, what stamp sets I'm going to use for Easter. It's still a ways away, so I did not initially order this, but I will probably break down because I do, you know, I always love animals. Um, it's a little big for the boxes and bags that I usually make, which is probably why I hesitated. But anyway, that's called Easter Friends. On page 28, um, I think this sample makes me want to order it, but I don't think I would use it. So I didn't order it, but it's Garden Greenhouse Bundle with the greenhouse dies. I would love to have a greenhouse in my backyard. Oh my gosh. You know, not not a big ugly one, like a blue, blue fancy one like this one. Um, my mother-in-law got one. I can't remember what they call those little plastic things. Oh, it's, it's kind of cute like that. Um... Anyway, Garden Greenhouse. So on 29, what is this telling you? Oh, look, is that the, that's the greenhouse again. Man, it makes me want to get it. It is, it's the greenhouse. So look, if you look at the samples, there's the greenhouse, a side view of it, which is even better than the front view. Hmm. Okay, enough about that. I'm going to convince myself to get it. I love this card right here. On page 30, this is the Flowering Rain Boots Bundle and the Rain Boots Dies. On page 31, Kite Delight. Do y'all remember? We used to have a set kind of sort of like this. I remember it because it was back when I used to do Stamp Kit of the Month. I remember uh, those kite cards because we moved last year and I remember tossing some of that stuff um yeah okay so kite delight on page 32 and 33 we have the art artfully composed sweet there's something about this i really like i love i think it's all the colors i love the greens and the blues together so i did get this entire suite I can't wait to use these thingies. Faux glass shapes. What do y'all think about those? So this is the artfully layered bundle, the white frayed ribbon, um, the vellum, and then the designer series paper. So let me show you the paper. See, look how pretty that is. I like it. A 
So the ladybug set coordinates with the medium daisy punch. Let's rewind and go back to that and look at that. I didn't even make that connection. So you can use this with the with the medium daisy punch. Oh yeah, I see them now. Thank you. That was a good tip. So here's the, the bundle, artfully layered bundle, the tropical layers dies. And then on page 35, is it Dal Dahlia? They, oh, I should look this stuff up before I go live to see how to pronounce it. I could ask Google, hey Google, how do you pronounce D-A-H-L-I-A? Oh, she didn't hear me. Hey Google, can you pronounce D-A-H-L-I-A? That's pronounced Dahlia. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love technology. <laughs> Isn't it so nice? I'm really bad at math and I ask her all the time to do math for me. <laughs> It's so fabulous. I used to type it into my phone or a calculator, but now I just ask my little device over there. Um, okay, so <laughs> moving on to page 36. This one here is, I just love, 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 love this one. This one reminds me of that Healing Hugs stamp set that we had before, except this has even I love the greetings and I love the flowers and I don't know what flower this is. Um, it doesn't really matter. I love it. It reminds me of my Rosa Sharon's a little bit. I have three Rosa Sharon's planted um, under my transom window over here. Um, and then of course, peony is my favorite flower. I know it's not a peony, but it kind of looks like it. Um, but I love the greetings. Just a note. I like you. Send in a card instead of a text. That one's really huge. Thank you and happy birthday. So flowing flowers. Um, I hope y'all are still there because I don't see any comments feeding. So on, ba blah, 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 blah. on page 37, Daffodil Daydream Bundle. I did get that one. I told y'all I got it. I don't think I got it on my first order. I got it on my second order. And I actually have already used this. I'm happy to say. Um, well, it's over on the other side of the room. But look how pretty this is. On page 37, we have the Seas of the Day bundle. So it's Seas of the Day stamp set and the Sea Dyes. Really pretty samples. I didn't get it. I think people that live near the ocean, it's a cute set to have. He kind of freaks me out. Um, but it's really cute. On page 39, Ocean Front. So that just kind of goes with this one. So if you're going to get this one, you'd want to get this one. I do actually really like that and this, but I don't make cards like that. Maybe I should, right? On page 40 is the Amazing Silhouettes Bundle. Now, I'm going to tell y'all a little truth here. The stamp set don't float my boat very much. It's okay. But these dies are amazing. Like you have to get the dies. The dies are so you they 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 have they have the outline and they have the background. I'm not wording that right. But this thing sets on top of this thing sets on top of that thanks. So two different colors. See like you can see this one here has I don't know what is that misty moonlight. And then it's cut out. So it's cut out misty moonlight. And then it's cut out in white. It's fabulous. You got to get those dyes. So amazing things dyes. You won't regret those. 
On 41, you've already seen Eden's Garden. So the stamp set and the dies carried over. The rest of the product did not. On page 42, we have the New Horizon Suite. And this is amazing. And I feel like I'm not very creative when I look at it because it has so much potential. The dies are fabulous. Um, and yeah, I haven't touched it yet, but I love this. Well, let me turn the page. Let me show you the, the, the images a little bit better. Wait, we don't see them. Well, go figure. Normally you get to see the bigger part of it on the next page, but you don't on this one. So this right here is like um, wood grain. And then you've got the, the, the weeds or the grass. <laughs> um, and the trees it says, thinking of you, thanks for everything, breathe. People tell me to breathe often. Relax and enjoy your day and wishing you so much happiness. But look at the dyes. You can see the dyes better when you look at the samples. Like here's the fence, the trees. Breathe, relax, and enjoy your day. Oh, there's that fence. Or whatever you call that, boards. I don't know what you call it. Okay, turning the page. Oh, the pebbles are pretty neat. And this is the ribbon that I used last night on the box. So, one-eighth cotton ribbon. I love ribbon that size. On page 44, um, Eclectic Garden. Eclectic Garden. Um, I didn't get it yet. I do like the greetings. I just don't know what I'd do without you. Thanks so much. Sending bright wishes for a happy day. On page 45, we have Timeless Tiles and Gentle Waves. On page 46, Soaring Swallows. Soar, soar, so it's S's. S's and R's. Soaring swallows. <laughs> Don't ask me to say that real quick. Um, on page 47, Grassy Grove and the Grove Dies. You really have to look at the samples to see the potential in all of these little bits and pieces. On 48, we have Abstract Beauty. And then here's all the product. So, Hello Beautiful Bundle. And then here's all the pieces. So, Hello Beautiful Stamp Set. And then the Beautiful Shapes Dies. Well, let's see. The Shapes, the Beautiful Shapes Dies. Here's a close-up of that. So there's lots of interesting um, shapes. They're not exactly symmetrical. So uh, like if you look at this image or this, this layer here, it's a little cattywampus. I might actually have it. Let's see if I have it in here. I might have tossed it. I always stamp stamp stuff, and then when I don't use it, I just throw them into a container. Okay, maybe I didn't save it. Um, I, I will let y'all know. I'll shout it from the rooftop when I finally use it, and, and I keep it as the layer of a project. I was using it to cut out a greeting for a particular project and it wasn't working because the project really needed the, the layer to be symmetrical and not, see if you look really closely, there's that layer I was talking about. It's not an oval, it's just, <laughs> somebody help me out here. What's the word for a non-symmetrical oval? I just want our ovals back. Can I just say that? 
Um, okay, so on page 51, we have happy and heartfelt. On page 52, we have the Slim Saiyans Bundle. So the Slim Saiyan stamp set and the Slim Card dies. Um, everybody's been asking for them, so hopefully y'all will like them. Yeah. On page 53, Best Delivery. That's super cute, isn't it? I like it. I keep looking at this card. That's a really nice card. Oh, look at these trucks. So where do they get those polka dots at? Let's analyze this for a second. So both of these trucks have polka dots on them. Where do those polka dots come from? Somebody tell me. I know there's other people on here. <laughs> Susan said those shapes back there were called a funky shape. You're right, a funky shape. But I want to know, how did these dots get here? I know if I go to my blog, um, well, just let me do that real quick. So if I go to my blog and I go to the, to the um, mini catalog and then I click on view the sample recipes, which is right under the catalog, the image of the catalog, and then this is on page 53. So if you scroll all the way to page 53, 53, almost there. <laughs> okay, 51, 51, there it is. Okay, so it says best delivery stamp set. Oh, the technique is blending brushes, masking, and paper piecing. So they paper piece that. So we have paper with polka dots. <laughs> uh, let's see what paper they say. Pool party cardstock, pattern party cardstock. The whole oh, I think I have it. It's the DSP from the annual catalog, right? The Pattern Party Host Paper. That's what it is, I think. <laughs> okay, moving on now. Let me close this screen so I can get back to my comments. Um, on page 54, we have... Oh, goodness gracious. I've never even seen that word in my life. <laughs> hmm. Well, there you go. Um, hmm. On page 55, we have Bragworthy, and then we have the Stripes and Splatters 3D embossing folder. So don't miss out on this. I feel like it's a little bit hidden up there uh, because this is white, but stripes and splatters. I love Sam's set. So on page 56, we have sentimental swirls and I love it. Love it, love it. 57 in the moment there has been a lot of really neat samples with this stamp set the one i like the most is this one right here the little puppy dog with the lady reading with her book and her hair's in a bun which is usually how my hair is in a bun um on page 58 we have the heart and home suite or collection and um I got the embossing folder, the ribbon, the classic Mac dots, the doilies, because you can use the back side. They're white. Um, yeah, I did not get the stamp set or the dies on these two pages, but some people really love them. So if it's your style, a blessing of blessings of home bundle, 
includes the Blessings of Home stamp set and the Flowers of Home's flower, rrr, Flowers of Home dies. And then on page 61, Honey Bee Home, Honey Bee Home Bundle and Honey Bee Blooms Dies. <laughs> on page 52, 62 I mean, 62. I just got this one in. Enjoy every chapter. I thought this, I just love the colors and whoever made this sample. So even if I just copied that coloring and put it on something else, um, yeah, I got it. Uh, more love. The world needs more love notes. I love this one. Here goes the heart again. Uh, y'all have, have already seen me use this one. Um, so here's this one. I'll be showing you the monkeys soon. And oh, I was coloring these little quails. My downline Gigi this morning told me they were quails. I called them birds. She said they're quails. So I was coloring them kind of like that. Well, this one was. This one I did in blue. Um, but I love this stamp set. Love it, love it. This is so funny. Who doesn't love the hedgehog? So Happy Hedgehogs bundle includes the Happy Hedgehog stamp set and the Hedgehog Builder Punch. And this little mushroom is so cute. Um, I think Gigi said this morning she used the Iconic dies to cut out a mushroom. I can't remember. Um, I was going to look and see if I could find it, but I'll just keep looking or showing y'all the catalog. On page 65, Celebrating You is a nice sentiment stamp set. Has lots of choices. And then up here, if you like masking, the, do the decorative mask, there's these butterflies and flowers. I don't really use these, and I used to always buy them every time they came out in a catalog, and then I never used them. So I stopped buying them because I don't use them. I should, but techniques are a little messy and a little, um, I don't know. I'm just not much of a techniques girl. So I like boxes and bags and what have you. Um, but I know lots of people make fabulous projects using decorative mask. I used to use them for sponging on some color. Um, like you could take this with your little sponge thingy and have a beautiful background. Oh, maybe now I will order them. Hmm, I just remembered that. Okay, on page 66, Cactus Cuties. Isn't this so cute? It's the Cactus Cutie stamp set and the Cactus Builder Punch. On page 67, Lucky You. And the, I think that's supposed, that's supposed to say subtle, shimmer, specialty paper, I don't know. It's not that color. It's a, a lighter, lighter cutter, cutter <laughs> color, like a really light. I showed y'all on my catalog walkthrough. I remember showing y'all. On page 68, Hey Sports Fan Sweet. And then here is all the product. I should show you the paper again, right? Let's see. Here's the paper. On page 70, I have to tell y'all, I put this thing in my cart three times and took it out of my cart three times. I, I cannot decide if I want to get it or not. Since the catalog just launched today, I still have time. Um, I, I keep going back and forth. I think it's going to make a really nice masculine stamp set, but um, 
I always get masculine stamp sets and then I don't use them. I tend to go towards, you know, animals and cutesy. Um, but I think it's, I think I'm going to break down and get it. And the price is right, too. So let's sell stamp set and the sailboat builder punch. On page 71, we have the wildlife wonder. And I like all animal stamp sets, but I was talking with my team this morning on our group coaching call, and um, a couple of them got this stamp set just for the bear. I think one of the schools uh, has a bear as a mascot. And I can't remember... I can't remember what the other one said, but one of them got it for these two images. But the greetings are really nice. So a note of thanks to a great guy. You mean so much to me for all the great things you do and sending birthday wishes. So I was telling them the reason I haven't bought it yet is I always use designer series paper on my cards. That's just what I do. That's how I bring in color. And when I look at this, when I look at the samples, that one's not my style, and I don't know what I would use with this. So if I can see a sample that makes my brain flip and see the potential, then I will get it because I'm always begging for more animals. But I just couldn't. Um... And is that a coyote? Or is it a... We just had a coyote running in our backyard yesterday. I was yelling at David really loud. I'm like, David, look, look, look. They're so darn smart. He, I'm gonna, I'm getting off topic here. I better stop talking about the coyote. Anywho, on page 72. Yeah, I could tell y'all a whole long story about it. Uh, we have the Home and Garden Bundle, which is the Home and Garden Stamp Set and the Garden Dies. And I did get this. My husband and I are big gardeners. He more so now than me because... The old body don't like that stuff no more, but we have raised beds now. Um, I love all this. Cute, cute, cute. And this is using the diorama um, dies that I've not yet used. Maybe I've used them once. On 73, I keep going back and forth. Y'all tell me, what should I do? I... This is another one. It's kind of like that sailboat one. I put it in my cart and I took it out of my cart. I put it in my cart and I took it out of my cart. I don't know that I would use it, but I want to use it. It's so cute. But what would I use it for? Um, when I look at this, if you take that hat off of him, that looks like Gimli on Lord of the Rings. That in itself would make me want to use it, but I'd have to figure out what to do with this hat if I took the hat off. Um, anywho. Yeah, I like it, but I haven't ordered it yet. On page 74, for the record, um, yeah. And then on page 75, this is the items that, these are some of the items that carried over from the previous catalog. So we have the Nuts About Squirrels. Uh, the brushed metallic adhesive back dots, the timber 3D embossing folder, the peaceful deer stamp set, the deer builder punch, nature's harvest stamp set, and the harvest dies. Of course, that would carry over. I didn't order those two the items. <laughs> and then back here is all the bundles. So don't leave me yet because we want to talk about Two little things back here in the back that is so fabulous and people are going to miss them unless you're like me and you start from the back of the catalog and then go to the front. So these little mischievous mice, this stamp set, oh my gosh, it's a hostess stamp set. So if your order is $150 or more, uh, you can get this stamp set uh, using $12.50 of your hostess benefits. So... I have stamped that little mouse a couple different times. Uh, I'm working on a sample. I don't, I did not, I cut the butt, the balloon out because um, I don't want the balloon. I want, I don't want the balloon. Um, so I'm working on something. Hopefully it will come together. I think there should be another image in here. Oh, I liked this one too. Happy to have you in my life. 
Look how cute that is. It's not finished. Oh, I was also doing it in a square. Happy to have you in my life. Anyway, so that is um, the mice. And then also this expressions of friendship. So like I said, you don't have to have a party. You just have to have an order that's 150 or more. And then you will use your stamp and rewards to get these for free. And you can go over a little, a smidge, not a lot. So you could technically, um, well, I say not, not technically. You couldn't get both of these on 150. So you get 10% at 150. You get 12% when you get to 300. So it just goes up as your order increases. Okay, I think that's it. I kind of, I, I did not stop on this page because we already looked at all of this stuff on the other pages. This is just our catalog at a glance. But the good thing now is that these items are in alphabetical order. Yay, I love it. It's so much easier when they're in alphabetical order. Um, yeah, so they're in alphabetical order. So now you can find them a whole lot easier. Remember that beautiful shapes dies I was telling you about? Here's another sample using those. Definitely check out your samples. Okay, what questions do you guys have for me? Any questions? So before some of y'all leave, um, I will be going live again tomorrow at 1 p.m. for my normally scheduled Wednesday uh, video. I might have to do a couple tests in the morning to see if I can get the cameras um, to work. I can tell you 100% that I will not be showing my face tomorrow. <laughs> yes, after after attempting that today, I think I'm gonna put that on the back burner again for a while. I need to figure out what's going on with uh, the signal. Um, do, you, <laughs> do you wanna see the ladybug set again? Or, um, yeah, here's the ladybug set. Oh, so Michelle said maybe you could use the Viking stamps for Halloween. You could, actually. Okay, I'm just looking for questions now. The, um, the comment section. The comments are not scrolling the way that I would like. So, if you posted a comment and I did not answer you, there is no designer series paper um, for the ladybug set, but it does work with several other patterns. Do y'all want to see the designer series paper page? I see the word DSP, but um, do y'all want to see the charts or do you want to see the page? I wrote all over it since I was doing paper shares. I Like I told y'all, I'm not the best at math, so I write on my catalog what it cost. <laughs> so I kind of messed up the images, but. Okay, I'm gonna look on YouTube now and see what questions I, if I missed any. You're very welcome. Sorry that I was uh, my sound didn't work for the first 15 minutes. Okay. Patty says she wasn't going to order anything. What? How could you say that? So I have had a couple downlines say that this wasn't their favorite catalog. And my response to them was, there is enough in this catalog to hold you until the next big catalog. So this one just goes through, when does it go through? I, I get confused now. So it goes to June 30th. So this is gonna hold us, it's gonna be just fine until the next catalog. Um, and they, over, they overlap a little bit. So our annual catalog is going live and this will be live with it at the same time. So there's enough in here. And I think that once everyone starts seeing really cute samples made, 
you know, like this little cute pink robot. Um, people will change their mind. There's enough in here. You really don't want to buy everything, right? That would be really hurtful for the pocketbook. Um, okay, I'm looking on, I'm looking for comments again. The comments are just not working very well for me today. So, uh, Kate asked, how did I find the recipe uh, sample cards? I can tell you how to find them on my, on my blog. Um, and I can tell you how to find them on the Stampin' Up! website. So if you go to my blog and you go, it depends on what device you're on. If you're on your computer, you can go to the sidebar of my blog, the right sidebar, and right under the picture of the catalog, it says, click here to view the sample recipes. So there's three catalogs in my right sidebar, and each one of them has click here to view the sample recipes. It's also in my blog post that I did this morning. So it, right under the picture of the catalog, it says click here to view the sample recipes. If you're on the Stampin' Up! website, I'm gonna go log in real quick and tell you. If you click on happening now, and then click on catalogs, and then when you get to the catalog page and really teeny tiny ant size font <laughs> under the catalog, it will say January through June mini catalog sample recipes. And it, it has it for all three publications. So it's a pretty big document. I used to print them. Now I just save them to my computer so that I can, and I save them on my blog so that I can always find them from there. And if you need, um, if you need me to repeat that, let me know. Um, yeah. So how do you get the exclusive tutorials? Uh, so the tutorials that I offer, uh, they're free with any size order and then they're free to my downline. Oh, and then I sell them too. Yeah. So over on my chicken scratch blog, uh, I have a, the chick shop where I sell tutorials. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Vicki says she loves those flowers so much. Oh, Pam says it's rhinoculus, 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 like rhinoceros, but rhinoculus. <laughs> or rhinoculus. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, okay, that's as far back as my comments will let me go. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow again at 1 p.m. Central Time, and we will be making something cute. Not sure what yet. I got to work on that. You guys have a fabulous day, and if you need anything, let me know. Thank you so much.